This class is part of my environment course in Houdini, named the Faroe Islands and the Waterfall. So please enjoy. Let's start working on how to sharpen these rocks and these areas. You see how it's not like very sharp. It's missing a lot of nice details that we want in a cliff. So let's start doing this. Uh, again, we're going to use a tool that's called the labs. So let me do. It's called sharpen, uh, sharp, sh labs, mesh sharpen. So this one. This is a great tool and it's just uh, what it does. It look around for the geometry and see in a, in a defined step size or let's think about the radius. It's going to see what's the high, the, the most defined angle. And then it's going to merge, flatten everything around that and just give this sharp edge. So uh, that's the result. And if we have a look in here, it's giving an interesting result in this area. That's exactly what we want. Like, you see how cool is this? Oh, sorry. Let me disable the ocean. Let's see the cliff. Let me see with the wire shaded like, uh, like this. You see, look how cool is that? It's really sharp and it's really nice. But it also has some collateral effects. And we are missing a lot of the features that we used to have in here. Let me turn off again. The, let's see like that. Check this out. Let me show you how it was before and after. So let me disable that. You see all these details we just lost once we put this one. And there is another issue because this one, even if you go in here, you don't have like, um, you can select groups. You can select anything to mask that out. Okay, so we need to think about another way to do this. And my approach would be uh, to mask this area, to convert it into a group, and then use a blend shape and just blend all in this area to full to, to the old before this. And we keep this only in this area. So the first thing we need to do is to mask out this area. Let's do that. So let me go before that. We need to, to create a group here. So let me do a point of up going to be same thing we did many times I'm going to fast forward for you Let's create an attribute. Let's call sharpen. Let's disable this. So now let's let's call this sharpen mask. And now we need to create um, a group by expression. Expression, and this let's call this not sharp. It's the name of this group. Let's run this on points, and the expression is at sharpen. I think that's the name of the attributes. Sharpen, yeah. Let me see. So add sharpen. It's um, smaller than 0 0.1. So it selects everything that's not sharpened. So we left out with the sharpen. Is that correct? Let me see the opposite. So it's bigger than 0 0.1. Okay. So yeah. So now let's see smaller than 0 0.1 0 0.9 0 point yeah we have points all over the flat areas so I think that's what we want so this is our group and then let's see we need to do a blend shape the blend shape select inputs like this let it cook because the sharpen needs to, to be cooked. 
And if I do a blend shape now, going all the way to one, we're just going to have like this input in here. So we're going to have this, you see? Old one and new one. So we need to do this. I want to grab the not sharp group and then I want this full one. So we're going to have like this result. You see everything there is the same. These areas, they become like that, very rough. But then we need to soften them out, them out. But I'm going to add something here. I'm going to do a smooth. And now we can uh, smooth everything. Or maybe we can even try to do this. Let me try to do like that. Just trying out a few things to see what's the best approach. Because I think we can smooth afterwards just the position in general. And I think we can do that. So I'm going to take this guy out. He's not doing anything for us here. So great, we have like these constrained points. And what this does, it say that the group not sharp is being constrained, it's not being smooth. So I think that's exactly what we need. Okay, uh, now I see something starting to change. So let me go and say that the strength is bigger. Yeah, you see it's working for us. Maybe I can go even like a 215 here. Filter quality, let's go more. I think I'm going even higher with that, like a hundred. Yes, I think it might be really good in the render. It's look weird the geometry itself, but I think these sharp edges are oh, not this one. There is a few ones there. I think maybe we can soften this mask a bit. So, um, or maybe this guy, let's bring this to point one. So maybe we're going to smooth that a bit. Yeah, it's going to help us. So 25. Yes. So I'm going to render and then let's see the result of the sharpen uh, in here. Let me reconnect that in this. So everything here we did procedurally, so it's not going to affect. We're still going to have those masks. And yeah, that's all good. So we'll see you in a bit. So here's the result. Uh, we're getting there. So we see this is before and this is after. You see like this edge and this one, check this out. See, they become more like a rock, sharp edge. And in general, and if you look in the background, nothing has changed there. So that's a good technique to mask out uh, this. And we work just on this layer. And yeah, awesome. We are uh, almost there. I think the next thing that I want to do is the scattering. Okay, so let's work on that.